Before you get started using Hydromax, you should be aware of some basic concepts to, that apply to all of the different analysis modes. The first is that you do need to choose a current analysis mode to get started. There's a drop down toolbar for that purpose. You, then depending on the analysis mode, you may also need a load case. So you can select a current load case. So one analysis mode and one load case are active at any point in time. Then for each analysis mode, there'll be a range of settings that you need to enter relating to that mode and also possibly environment options like the waveform, grounding or density of water to be used. If it's a mode that uh, needs stability criteria such as equilibrium analysis or large angle stability analysis, you will want to select those criteria. Once that setup is done, you'll then run the analysis, review the results and then review the report. Let's take a look at the first uh, type of analysis that we're going to look at, which is a specified condition analysis. This is a general way of looking at the vessel in a particular attitude. And we can specify the three degrees of freedom, the angle of heel, the angle of trim, and the amount of immersion or draft or displacement. When we're specifying heel, we can specify that as an angle or by using the transverse and vertical centers of gravity. For trim, we can specify a fixed trim in terms of the distance uh, measured at the aft or forward perpendicular. Uh, alternatively, we can define trim indirectly by specifying the longitudinal and vertical centers of gravity. And for the immersion, we can either specify a displacement or we can specify a draft. If we run a specified condition analysis, the results that are produced include a curve of areas and of course the hydrostatic properties at that particular attitude of the vessel. So let's switch over to Hydromax, open an existing design, and then the first thing we do is choose the analysis mode, so I'm going to choose specify condition. And then from the analysis menu, the first part of the menu contains the analysis specific settings. So you can see that there's only one menu item which is highlighted, specified conditions. We can open that and then specify our heel, I'll leave that as fixed, specify our trim, I'll also use a fixed trim but uh, I'll say 0.25 and then we can specify our displacement. Uh, so I'm going to have a displacement here uh, of say 65,000 kilograms and then click OK. If I run my analysis that will trim the vessel slightly down by the stern as I defined it and sink it down to that displacement. The results of my analysis I can see in the results window where all of my hydrostatic properties are tabulated. So my displacement, uh, my wetted area, the prismatic coefficient and so on. To see the curve of areas I can switch to the graph window and display that curve of areas. Thank you for watching.